Hi, I'm Chris, and welcome to Left Field. In 1963, a young man from Cincinnati made his major league debut with the Reds. In 24 seasons, this Cincinnati native would go on to lead the major leagues with 4,256 hits and place his name above those of baseball greats Ty Cobb and Hank Aaron on the all-time hits leaderboard. His hardworking style on the field prompted Hall of Fame Yankee pitcher Whitey Ford to label him Charlie Hustle. If you haven't figured it out by now, I'm talking about one of the members of the Big Red Machine, Pete Rose. We remember names like Bench, Foster, and Griffey for great baseball, but what do most of us think about when we hear the name Pete Rose? For most, we don't remember the headfirst slides that became his regular signature move. We don't remember Rose's 44-game hitting streak in the 78 season. Some of us remember that September 9th in 1985, when Pete hit number 4192 in the bottom of the first inning. What most of us remember is that Rose bet on baseball, denied it for nearly 15 years, then finally came clean. For that, he has been banned from baseball and is not eligible for the Hall of Fame. These are the things that we hang on to as we think about Pete Rose. For most of us, the story of Pete Rose is of little significance to our daily lives. But inside of this story lies a potential lesson in forgiveness that begs for our consideration. The point of my rant from out here in left field is not to debate whether or not Pete should be reinstated into the game. But for the sake of the idea of forgiveness, let's use the story to discuss forgiveness from an eternal perspective. In Colossians, we read that we are to bear with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, we should forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven us so you also must forgive. But how does the Lord forgive? Psalm 103 says, as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As well, in the book of Micah, we read that Jesus will cast our sins into the depth of the sea. The meaning and how the Lord forgives is that we are forgiven to the point that our wrongdoings, bad decisions, hurtful acts, and sinful actions are no more in the sight of God. If this is the case, then we have been given a clean slate before God. This is our lesson in forgiveness. Just as there are those things in our lives that we simply wish never happened, so too is the case with those around us. When friends, family, or co-workers mess up, we have a tendency to remember them in that light. We tend to hang on to those things and attach them to those people. We tend to hold others in the light of their bad decisions and poor decision making. Jesus instructed us to pray, forgive our sins as we forgive those that sin against us. That means that as much as is humanly possible, we are to forgive in the like manner to the kind of forgiveness that we are given by our Lord Jesus. How we view those that have hurt us is tied up in this. When we look at someone, we'll use Pete Rose as an example, do we see the gambling and the lies or do we see a man who walked out onto a field to tip his hat and thank a crowd for cheering his 4192. Forgiveness means that we don't focus on the things that people do wrong and forget all the things they've done right. It means that we see others as Jesus sees them through the lens of forgiveness that only allows him to see us as his creation void of the bad decisions that we make every day. Something to think about, don't you think? Thanks for joining me out in left field.